You must have heard of the old wives tale that it's harmful to sleep under a walnut tree. Could be because some of your ancestors have actually observed that nothing grows around a walnut tree, and they assumed that if you slept under it, you would not prosper in life. This is actually because walnut produced a compound called euglon, which prevents other plants from growing nearby, negatively influencing them. This phenomenon we call allelopathy. Allelochemicals, or secondary plant metabolites, are released into the soil through plant roots, as well as with every rainfall and every leaf fall in the autumn. You might be now wondering, why am I telling you all this? Well, if you actually think about it, we could potentially use allelopathy to create tiny ecosystems in which plants we do not want to grow don't grow, and plants we want to grow grow better. In a world where traditional agricultural methods are becoming a more pressing issue, being more harmful to the environment, and with all these rising food prices, scientists are constantly trying to find new ways of agricultural sustainability. My research tries to identify these secondary plant metabolites in the form of essential oils, widely available on the market, and their potential use as herbicides to kill the weeds that cause huge annual losses of crop. Current methods of weed suppression include the use of artificial herbicides, which after a few cycles of crop production leave the soil unusable as well as being harmful to the pollinators, such as bees, and underground water sources. They say that the best solutions are usually right under our noses, and this is why I chose these two essential oils to use in my experiment. That of cedarwood, a very common pine tree, and your grandmother's and mother's favorite balcony decoration, pelargonium. I treated two different species of weeds and one commercially important crop, a carrot. Over a period of 10 days, in controlled laboratory conditions, I observed different parameters on these treated seeds and came to a conclusion that pelargonium had actually significantly influenced the growth of these seeds and their germination. I also had a very interesting observation. It had weaker effect on the carrot seeds. This is a very interesting observation and certainly worth exploring further. The aim of my research is to filter out the essential oils that will not have that big of an effect on the weed species, such as that of cedarwood, which shown weaker results in my research, and to put on the map doses of pelargonium, which could potentially be used in the future for sustainable agriculture. Looking ahead, this research needs to be repeated in real life conditions to see, to see if it is as effective in the soil and in which concentrations. Now, you imagine a world in which we don't have to spray the plants to kill these weeds. We just plant its natural nemesis nearby and let allelopathy keep them at bay.